our last speaker for today's, uh, this morning's plenary session is um, Ms. Christy De La Garza, who is a licensed professional counselor in counseling and psychological services. Ms. De La Garza. Welcome everyone. Um, my name, as mentioned, my name is Christy De La Garza. I am really happy to be here today just to welcome you all to Texas A&M University. And I want to remind you that we are so happy that you're here. And I also want to just remind you about some of the mental health services and support that's available to y'all at Counseling and Psychological Services. We also go by CAPS. Um, I'm also going to invite you all if you want to just kind of shake your hands a little bit. This is a little stressful to sit through this all the time. Take a, take a breath, let it out. Um, and uh, just listen to that. I recognize that not everybody here in this room is, is going to seek our services for our individual counseling or group counseling. I recognize that, but I do want you to know that maybe a friend might uh, need a little referral our way, and you might be able to help with that. Or you might want to think about how can I take care of myself during this stressful time of graduate school? I know you all are excited, and uh, but there's also some services that we might be able to provide for you. Um, we are counseling and psychological services. We provide goal-oriented counseling to address the mental health and wellness um, concerns and developmental concerns of all of our Aggie students. Um, we engage in assessment and intervention as well as outreach and, and in a culturally informed and social justice perspective, as you can see here. We're committed to the promotion and celebration of diversity in all forms. And so with that in mind, when I talk about mental health and wellness, I also like to think about, um, I wanna be sensitive to how COVID has impacted us all here today in the last year and a half, we're still talking about it. But as we talk about mental health, I'd be remiss not to think about the impact of what the pandemic has had on us. Whenever we think about connecting with one another, seeking support, what does normal look like? The uncertainty that comes along with COVID, recognizing that probably everyone in this room has either directly or indirectly been impacted by this pandemic. It brings about a lot of um, emotions. Um, it can bring some sadness, it can bring some anxiety, um, and then combine that with this transition of just being new to a campus and a new environment that's not familiar to you or to your Aggie um, peers, uh, can produce some stress um, and anxiety. I also want to make sure that we do talk about how some of our underrepresented students are also impacted by being on this campus or even um, here in this uh, great state of Texas or the United States and globally. Just thinking about the stressors that people um, who are discriminated on the basis of the color of their skin, their ethnicity, their culture, um, their national origin, uh, their uh, sexual orientation, their gender. There's many things that people are being impacted by, whether you can see that or not, microaggressions, um, feeling the need to assimilate to not only the Aggie culture, but just being here in the United States. Um, just outright discrimination, folks that are being targeted by even our police, it does happen. And thinking about having an empathetic, compassionate approach to people you're seeing on campus, um, it does impact the mental health. What I want to talk about a little bit real quickly is the resources that we do provide um, at CAPS. The services at CAPS are provided to you at no additional charge. It's already included in your fees. Um, you really can't beat that price, I think. And so when we think about 60,000, over 60,000 students being on this campus, we can't see them all um, in individual counseling. And so we provide a wide variety of services through workshops that students, maybe they just want a one shop. Hey, just need some support on anxiety. I don't need individual counseling. So we have workshops that students can sign up for and attend as a, in a group. Those are gonna be through telehealth this year, um, just because of the pandemic. Um, or we have videos that are on our website and you can watch those just on your own if you want. We do uh, group counseling and I'm gonna talk about the different groups that we offer. Those will also be available through telehealth. We do have individual counseling, and at this point, we are trying to keep those in person and through telehealth. That will depend on the counselor and the student, but we are trying to have some connections in some way. We do crisis intervention. 
which that means that if a student doesn't have an appointment with us and something pretty serious and traumatic has happened to them, we do have walk-in crisis intervention um, for uh, students to come in without that appointment between eight in the morning and five in the evenings during the work days. We also do have limited psychiatric services. Sometimes students are needing that, um, some medication to go along with the treatment that they have when they're coming to CAPS. Um, so that we can have some of that medication um, as part of the services uh, that students are seeking from us. We have a referral service. Not every student is gonna fit what CAPS has to offer. We are short-term agency. If someone wants longer-term care or something more specific than we offer, we do have a referral coordinator who can work with students and saying, hey, here, let me get you connected to the community and let me help you get that going. A lot of resources for self-help. Um, we even have a self-help tab on our website that if you just want a quick like, adjustment or you know, depression, what are some things that I can do for that? We have that on our website. Um, we do outreach and we have suicide awareness and prevention. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. I really love talking about our groups because we have such a wide variety. I'm not going to read the whole list because you all can see that on the slide, but we have some specific groups and these groups meet for a semester long. And usually they're between eight to 10 students that all have a similar concern that they're wanting to work on um, with um, two counselors at the time. And so they meet every week and we have as you can see, the art of coping is one of the new ones that we have where maybe you want to integrate that creative side, but also figure out how to manage um, stress or mental health concerns. Graduate student support group. Um, sometimes there's just that unfamiliar territory you want to have a little extra support. The dissertation and support group, you aren't worrying about that at this moment, but someday this is going to be you going, this is what I need to get done. And we've been running this group for nonstop for about 25 years. It's the one group that never stops during the summer. It's not the same student for 25 years, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but we always have students seeking this out just for that a little additional support during that difficult time. International student support group, women of color group. You can see that we have a great, um, great variety of support for you all. So you might even be wondering like, okay, so what is counseling here at Texas A&M? Um, it is a professional relationship that we seek to empower students that are coming in um, for that support. Um, we're looking at wellness, education, career plans, uh, whatever students are looking for. It's not necessarily a quick fix. We understand that it's a process. Um, it's uh, not only for seeking advice. We don't really do that. We're hoping this, to empower the students to find those answers. And it's not only for venting. Venting is important, but it is a challenge somebody to think about, hey, what, what do I need to do to feel better? Some of the reasons people seek counseling with us is relationship concerns. It can be with their, their advisor. It could be with their lab partners, their roommates, whatever it might be, or their partners. Um, academic struggles. Some folks realize, I'm, I don't know where my motivation went. I'm stressed most of the time. I'm feeling burnout, whatever it might be. Homesickness, eating concerns, grief, loss, um, suicidal thoughts. There's a lot of reasons students come in for counseling, and we're here to support that. Another neat um, service that we provide, it's considered an outreach initiative. Not everybody needs to come in for counseling, and we recognize that. But sometimes just having somebody to bounce some ideas off of or say, hey, you know what, I'm kind of struggling. Um, I'd like to just talk about this with this, um, a counselor. Um, we have counselors that are embedded in the Department of Multicultural Services, International Student Services, and um, the Pride Center. And right now we hope those will be in person, um, but they're 30 minute appointments. It's not counseling, it's, um, it's really, no notes are taken. It's just an opportunity to feel supported um, and include, included. Um, we also do services like um, for suicide awareness. Maybe you might be teaching a class as a TA and you wanna learn how to work with uh, and identify distressed students that might have some suicidal ideation. Well, we have some training for that. And if you wanna look at our suicide and awareness prevention, um, we have gatekeeper training. Cognito is really fantastic. I encourage everyone to take a look at this. It's a 45 minute uh, online training option that's free. 
It has a virtual coach that will talk you through, hey, here's a distressed student that's coming in. What would be a good way to reply to that student? How can we help that student? What resources are available? You do it at your own pace, stop and start whenever you want to, and you get a nice little certificate that shows that you've completed that. Um, highly encourage you to take a look at that. We do consultations if a student's looking or a staff member or faculty want to call CAPS and just say, hey, I have some questions about mental health, uh, a student, we do consultations as well, just call our office. We do have a wide variety of mental health resources for distance education satellite campuses, and that's also listed on our website if you'd like to see that. Um, also, helpline. If you just need to talk to somebody and it's two in the morning, you're not sure who to reach out to, uh, we have trained volunteers that um, are Aggies that are here for our fellow Aggies to talk. If there's a crisis, they can get you connected to a resource. The number's on the back of your ID card um, and Helpline ha helps hundreds of students every semester. It's been um, a fantastic um, service for our students. We do have um, a suicide awareness walk um, and prevention month coming up. It's kicking off on September 7th. Um, we'll be get, having giveaways. There'll be some training opportunities, workshops. Uh, I would encourage you to take a look at that. It's called Not Another Aggie. Again, take a look at our website and you'll see more information about that. There's a four week walk challenge. My husband and I always sign up for this because it gets us out every night. We have an opportunity to talk and gain some steps and um, we're competitive people. So we love getting in on a challenge when we can. Um, I'm gonna, this is a picture of uh, our staff when we got together for one of our suicide awareness walks about two years ago. Gives you a little small glimpse of some of our staff members. Um, we're really wet, ready to provide whatever support we can. Um, you can contact us, you see our number here. Um, I would encourage every single one of you just to pull up our website. The wealth of information is amazing uh, just for your mental health and wellness. How can you take care of yourself now? Keeping that wellness, just like you would your physical wellness, um, taking a walk. Sometimes you might just need to take a breath. You might wanna meditate. You wanna, might wanna learn how to deal with some stress or anxiety. We have workshops for that. We have videos. Take a look at our um, website. Follow us on social media. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's at Tamu underscore caps. We'll talk about resources coming up, mental health reminders, um, whatever that might look like for you. We are here for you and we look forward to providing whatever support we can. Again, welcome to Texas A&M and College Station. We wish you the best and let us know if there's anything you need. Thank you.